What's up, everybody? I'm Brock with PDQ, and today I'm going to show you how to deploy Autodesk applications with PDQ Connect and PDQ Deploy. It's a pretty easy process, but there are a lot of pieces here, so we're going to be jumping through a lot of screens. However, if you look down in the description down below, we have a blog that covers this entire process. So if you want to go at it at your own pace, definitely check out the blog. But again, we'll cover everything in this video as well. So we're going to first start out in our Autodesk website. This is going to be manage.autodesk.com. This is where you're going to log in. This is where you can see and manage your applications. At this screen, we're going to go over to our products and services here. And what we're going to actually dive into is the custom install right here. Now I've actually built this install already just to kind of speed this process up, but we're gonna cover everything. So let me go down and I'll edit this package. When you start off, the first thing you're gonna do is select your products that you wanna to add to this deployment package. Then over here on the right screen, this is gonna be like your product options, okay? So you're gonna specify your version. I picked this specific version. I think latest version should work as well. Uh, and then once you get that decided, you're gonna go down and do all of your customization. So if you have a certain configuration for your organization, this is where you're gonna make that happen. Uh, I don't have any specifications. I don't have any language packs I wanna add. So just over here on the left, I'm gonna click next and that's gonna take us to our install settings. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is name your package. I'm deploying AutoCAD LT, so that's what I've named my package here, including the version number. Since we're deploying this, we're gonna be deploying this to uh, multiple devices. Uh, I've select the deploy option here. Now this part's important, set your deployment image path. Now this is gonna be when you download this deployment package and run it for the first time, this is going to set up some installation files uh, in your directories. This path is where it's gonna do that at. So I've got mine set to C, Autodesk, Deploy, AutoCAD, LT 2025. Now you can set that to whatever you want, just you need to remember this image path and I'm gonna show you why here in a second. Also, we've got a log path here that should automatically generate for you. Installation path, program files, Autodesk. I think a lot of these are, are default. One thing you'll wanna make sure you check, use symbolic links and uh, agree to the terms and then hit save. Don't hit download yet, hit save. That'll actually save the uh, package here, just like this one right here. This is how you save it. If you download it, it'll just download the file and not save it. Once we have it saved though, then you wanna download it. And to do that, just hover over the package and you'll see the download button right here, okay? I've already actually got it downloaded as you can see right here. Now, the next step we're gonna wanna do is actually get some uh, commands from the installer. This is actually pretty easy, and I'll show you what that looks like. I'm gonna go over here to a remote desktop, and I'm actually gonna run this. So this is that same uh, package we just created. I just put it on this computer here. I'm gonna run it for the first time. Now this is gonna go, and like I said, it's gonna extract some install files, and it's gonna do so in that folder that you designated. That's why it's important to remember that path, because all these files are gonna go to that folder. All right, once that finishes extracting all those install files and resources, you'll, uh, you'll get this deployment created screen. Again, this is not installing the Autodesk application itself, it's just getting ready for it, okay? So we'll hit close there and I'll show you what that looks like. And in fact, I'm gonna start back over at the C drive. So you can see this is gonna follow that path that I set up when I created that deployment package. So I'll go to C, Autodesk, Deploy, AutoCAD LT 2025, now this is the good stuff that we're looking for, okay? So in this bat file right here, there's gonna be a few commands listed. These are the commands that Autodesk uses to actually install the application. So we can kind of cheat and open this up in Notepad. And this is the actual uh, command we're looking for since we're deploying this to targets, we wanna do so silently. So this is the installed uh, deployment silently. So this is the command right here that we're actually gonna be copying. So, and I've already actually done this and I've built this out, but again, go to this file, copy this command. This is what we're going to use for our package in PDQ Connect and PDQ Deploy. So let me back out of this device and we'll head over to PDQ Connect. And we'll actually take a look at the package that I've built. So PDQ Connect, click on the packages tab over here on the left. Now you'll be starting fresh from the create a package option. But like I said, I'm trying to speed this up a little bit for you. So I've already created it, Autodesk AutoCAD LT right here. In here, nothing crazy. I did set the timeout period to 120 minutes. Now, as you know, uh, AutoCAD, Revit, I mean, those are huge, huge installers. They can take a while. Uh, AutoCAD LT, not as big. It's only, uh, I think the installer is like two something gig, uh, gigabytes there. So it's not as crazy, but what I want you to do, set your timeout period pretty high 
That way it doesn't like think that it failed or something like that. And then as you've deployed it to a few devices, you'll get a, an understanding of how long it takes. And then you can adjust that timeout period to be shorter and kind of better reflect the actual deployment time. Here's my first step of this package. This is gonna be an install step. And this is that same file right here that I downloaded my package, my deployment file. And we're actually gonna attach it to this package. And then we're gonna add the parameters uh, Q dash P, and then we're gonna add a log to it as well. So this is gonna deploy that installation silently. Once that is on, that's when we create a command step and we use that command that we copied from the file and we put it into this command step. So you'll see this is basically that exact same command that we copied from that batch file that Autodesk gave us. Uh, a couple things to point out here, I did add a log file to the end of this. Just, I mean, logging is probably you know best practice. But also, if you have any uh, spaces in your path, make sure to surround this in quotes. You can see that my path doesn't have any spaces, so I didn't need them. It wasn't necessary in my case, but probably best practice there too. Probably throw some quotes in there. Now, this is the whole package. This, as it stands, is ready to deploy. Now, and I've actually deployed and installed this on some devices. So we'll go to our deployments tab over here and we'll actually see that I have deployed this to one of my devices successfully. I deployed it to my computer Appa. And if we scroll over here, we can see that the total deployment took six minutes, 13 seconds. Again, this is AutoCAD LT. And this was based on our equipment, our resources, our bandwidth, things like that. So your time could drastically vary from this, especially if you're pushing this out to like remote sites and things like that. And what this package is doing is this basically, you're pushing over that initial deployment installer. And then what happens is it's gonna go and like pull the files directly from Autodesk for the installation. Now, so that's it for PDQ Connect. The process is almost the exact same for PDQ Deploy with a couple differences. I've actually got a package already here set up in PDQ Deploy. If I go, so here's my, here's my main package. If I go to step one, again, it's an install step. I'm installing the same file. Uh, this time, however, unlike uh, in PDQ Connect, where you just attach the installer right there. This obviously lives in my repository. If I open that up, I can see in my repository, I have this installer file. So point to it there. And then again, add your parameters, just like you did the other one. Step two is gonna be that same uh, command. Here you can see that I was, I was good. I actually put my quotes in there. But as you can see, it's the exact same one that we copied from that batch file. Again, I added a uh, log parameter at the end best pack practice probably. But again, this is pretty much the exact same package that you'll find in PDQ Connect and PDQ Deploy. And then once you're done and you send it off to your devices, you can set up your uh, either static or dynamic groups and build collections off those. This is really a pretty simple process. I know there was like a lot of steps and stuff and we're jumping from a website to getting the information from the files and whatnot. But overall, I mean, this is probably the easiest it's been to deploy Autodesk applications. So there you have it. If you like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up. If you didn't, give us a thumbs up anyways. Uh, if you got any questions about this process, you can hit us up down in the comments down below. If you want a quicker response time, head over to our Discord server, which is discord.gg slash PDQ. We have tons of PDQ people on there, tons of PDQ users. We actually have a KB article in our Discord server that covers this process as well. Hopefully this helps you guys out. Until next time, rock on everybody.